All right, so we got to do this one now. Just, you know, saw the end of the Steelers and the Chargers. We'll give you more tomorrow in the total game recap. But uh, another just terrible call in the NFL right here. Um, right before Pittsburgh ran that last play in the Wildcat to score the game-winning touchdown, um, Michael Vick threw, I believe it was Heath Miller or Matt Spath, one of the tight ends. I'm almost certain it was Heath Miller caught the ball. And... Um, Caught it at the one-yard line in his turn looking to score. And he gets drilled by a safety. The safety hit him, led with his shoulder, and looked like it went shoulder to shoulder. Um, certainly did not get above the guy's neck. I didn't see any helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. And they're calling it a hit on a defenseless receiver. Um, I believe that that guy is trying to score in that situation. Heath Miller, Matt Spath, whoever it was, is trying to score. He's not defenseless. He's trying to score a touchdown. If the safety doesn't hit him in that situation, he's going to score. This has gotten out of hand with these rules in the league. Um, we saw another play where uh, Phillip Rivers, in this case, uh, threw the ball on. It was a screen pass. He blatantly threw the ball into the ground. Yes, there is a running back in the area, but that doesn't mean that it's not intentional grounding. He's clearly, I mean, when a guy looks at the ground and drills the ball into the ground, it's intentional grounding. I don't care how close someone is, okay? That's the definition of intentional grounding, is he's throwing the ball into the ground to get away with it so he doesn't have to take a sack. So that was one thing, but that was just one of the worst calls I've seen at the end of this game, saying that the guy is a defenseless receiver. And the half-yard matter, Le'Veon Bell barely got the ball across the pylon at the end of that game. Had he not... Now, granted, had the call not been made, it might change whether or not the Steelers decide to go for the touchdown there and the win as opposed to kicking the field goal to tie. But let's just assume all things equal. They still go and try to win there without the call being made. Le'Veon Bell is not getting in that extra half yard, and Pittsburgh loses this game. So a very costly call. I didn't hear ESPN making many, many mention of it. Um, we did this video right after the game ended, so they might be talking about it right now. I have it on mute, but uh, it just looks like they're giving the highlights and uh, the you know play rewards, who's the Gruden grinder or whatever it is. But uh, don't expect ESPN you know to say anything about it. They're company men. They're gonna keep doing what the NFL tells them. Um, it's the same thing yesterday we had discussed with the Baltimore Cleveland game. There was a terrible call, and you had the announcer saying how. You know, it's such poor defensive play, and the guy's playing selfish and not thinking for himself. It's like, no, he's playing the game of football. Now, was this one quite as egregious as that one yesterday? Um, I think this one that happened in the Steelers game was uh, much closer to a penalty. I still wouldn't have called it, but I think it was much closer to a penalty than the one was yesterday. Um, with that being said, Cleveland won that game. San Diego lost this game. So, another costly penalty call. We'll give you more on the recap tomorrow. Just want to give you that. I'll probably save you the time for this tomorrow, though. Uh, instead, then we can just focus on the game and everything that happened. So that's it for that. Wanted to get that in. So it's late Monday here, but um, be sure to stay tuned tomorrow. We'll give you the recap of this game and um, give you the baseball and all that as well. So uh, we like your continued watching and uh, just another breaking alert update for you here. So enjoy the rest of your night and be sure to stay tuned tomorrow.